Hello, my name is Christy Duran and we'll be going over multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA. So, why did MFA come about? It's because you should have been getting emails from system, UH system and from our human resource office that um, there's a change to our direct deposit. So, sign up period is from December 3rd to the 14th if you want to get continuation of direct deposit come January. If you don't sign up for MFA or do your direct deposit changes, you'll be gaining a paper check. So if you go to this link, it'll step you through the um, basically the information of why it's coming and how to set, sign up for MFA. So what is multi-factor authentication? MFA, it is a two-step process to authenticate to make sure it's you that is signing into your account. It's basically um, protection for yourself and for your account. So the uh, system says it's an extra layer of protection on top of your UH username. So what it is is first step is you do your usual sign in which is your UH username and your password. And then with MFA, it's a second factor, which um, there's multiple ways you can uh, authenticate. You can do um, push notification, you can do passcodes, telephone. You have to decide um, which way would be the easiest for you to authenticate. Now I'll go through on how to set up MFA. So, you can go to this link and it will show you, basically it will, it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up and um, register your devices. So you should think of two ways you should register, um, or actually not two ways to register, but two, di two, two devices to register. In case you get locked out of one, you can use the second way to get into your account so you're not stuck. So what devices can you use for authentication? You can use a smartphone, landline, non-smartphone, tablet, or UH hard key or um, token uh, called a UB key. So when you are ready to sign up for MFA and you go to that website, this is what you get. Um, it'll start the setup process for you and it's really easy. Just follow the instructions. And then this page is uh, you'll have to decide which way you want to authenticate first. Um, mobile phone, tablet, or landline. And then you'll come to this page. Say we do um, smartphone. So you would, um, there's a drop down menu at the top. So you select your, um, I guess, like your country code, because there, there should be different, different places listed. So if, you have a foreign number, you should be able to select it in that drop down list. So you put in your um, tel uh, cell phone number with a 808 or whatever your error code is. And then make sure you there's this little box underneath that says this is the correct number. This is to verify that you put in the correct number. We've had on occasions where people checked it without really looking at it and then put it the wrong number and then they got stuck out of their account and they had to call Honolulu. So make sure check that box and make sure that it's the correct number then you can click continue then it will ask you what type of phone is um, it is iPhone Android Windows or if it's none of those you can select other so I have like my phone then it will ask you to install um, the app called dual mobile easy to find just uh, do a search for it in the app store or play store and then download it once you have it download then you can click on the button that says I have dual mobile installed what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this QR code and the camera will activate on your phone you hold up the camera to the QR code and that's how you sync your phone to the account and, and then once it syncs properly it'll give a green check mark and then you can click continue and then you'll say um, account is registered 
So once that's done, um, once you registered your devices, whether it's landline, tablet, smartphone, regular cell phone, I can show you um, different ways of how you can authenticate. So you there's um, do push, just like push notification, phone call, whether it's landline or mobile phone, text codes, you get a text message from with the uh, passcodes to enter. Uh, you have a dual app generated code, same thing, it um, uh, generates numbers for you to enter landline or the huge hard token or the UB key. So say you log into um, the portal or your email and this page will come up and this is the authentication page. This is after you had signed in with your UH username and password. The drop down menu, you can select how you want to authenticate, whether it's landline or iPhone or tablet. Say I selected iPhone, I want them to send me a push. The nice thing about it, they have um, on the bottom, you see, remember me for one day. Check that if um, you know you'll be going in and out of um, either email or banner or whatever um, system website Con continuously through the day, uh, you can use that. When this first came out about two years ago, we didn't have that option. Every time this, um, I had to log in, I had to authenticate every time. This is a nice change that they, they put in. So with the push notification, it usually pops up the notification on your phone, but if it doesn't, look for the dual mobile app, which it, um, shows here on my screen. And then this is what it pops um, looks like when it pops up. It basically tells you it's a UH login, username, IP address, where it's located, what time, what day. Since you know it's you that's logging in, you can hit approve. If you see this pop up and you're not logging in, hit deny and call um, ITS help desk to let them know there's a fraudulent access uh, attempt on your account. Say um, you want to do SMS text code or passcode. That's going to be like the third option on this list. Uh, right now it says login, but it usually says passcode. Uh, when you click that on the bottom, you'll see this blue bar that says text me new codes. You click that, and then what's it going to look like when it sends you a text message to your phone? It'll look like this. It'll be a whole bunch of numbers, and um, each number will last so so long. So if the first one doesn't work, move on to the next one until you get in. And then if you feel like you don't want to use these numbers, you can always go back and then request another set of numbers. Once you get your numbers, um, actually this is um, from the app. It's the same thing, passcode. Um, use that to log in. Uh, and this is the numbers you have to type in, which is like here. Type in the number, hit login, and you go right into the website. So this is the token. Um, majority of the time that I've seen tokens used are for um, upper management uh, between the secretaries and like the VCA or chancellor's office. Um, especially if um, the secretary has to access their account plus the VCA or chancellor. Um, the UH hard token is usually the easiest for them. So basically, it's a little thumb drive with a button on it. You get it, um, you get to this login page, you can plug it in, um, hit the enter pass code, and these, this is what it looks like. And there's, this shows where the buttons are. Um, on the USB-A, it'll flash, it'll turn green, and that's when you push it, and it'll, it'll send a pass code to it, and, and it'll uh, auto log you in. And that's what it looks like. Any questions? Um, you can either call the help desk 932 7040 if you have any questions. Just some, um, uh, I guess, FYI. We do have students on MFA, and if you use uh, Launima for online testing uh, in class, you do have to let them authenticate at the beginning. Um, uh, that was one of the things that was coming up. I can't think that's about
Okay.